Welcome to our podcast where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss the volcanic eruption on Mars, hinting at life on the planet. Mars was once home to seas and oceans, and perhaps even life. But our neighboring world has long since dried up, and its atmosphere has been blown away, while most activity beneath its surface has long ceased. It's a dead planet. Previous research has hinted at volcanic eruptions on Mars two five million years ago. But a new paper suggests an eruption occurred as recently as 53,000 years ago in a region called Cerberus Fossae, which would be the youngest known volcanic eruption on Mars. That drives home the prospect that beneath its rusty surface pocked with gigantic volcanoes that have gone silent, some volcanism still erupts to the surface at rare intervals. Scientists at the University of Arizona and Smithsonian Institution write in their paper, if this deposit is of volcanic origin, then the Cerberus Fosse region may not be extinct and Mars may still be volcanically active today. The site of the potential eruption seen in images from Martian orbit is near a large volcano called Elysium Mons. It is about 1,000 miles east of NASA stationary InSight lander, which touched down on Mars in 2018 to study tectonic activity on the Red Planet. Appearing like a crack in the surface, the feature looks like a recent fissure eruption, where subsurface volcanic activity has caused superheated volcanic ash and dust to burst through the surface. It is similar to deposits caused by pyroclastic eruptions that scientists have spotted on the moon Mercury and Earth. Originating from magma, deep beneath the surface, the eruption would have reached a height of several miles before falling back to the ground. The amount of material is estimated at 100 times less than the eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Robert Craddock said, It is the presence of darker material here, coupled with its symmetrical appearance around the fissure, that hints at an eruption. Known as a fault scarp, this type of feature is very common in Hawaii, as magma near volcanoes causes the surface to expand and crack. By counting the number of craters visible around the feature and in the deposit itself, which is roughly six miles across, the team date the potential eruption, ranging from 53,000 to 21,000 years ago. This would by far be the youngest known volcanic eruption on Mars. If it holds up to scrutiny, the discovery would have large implications for Mars. In geological terms, 53,000 years is the blink of an eye, suggesting Mars might well still be volcanically active now. It could also have big implications for the search for life on Mars. Such volcanic activity could melt subsurface ice providing a potential habitable environment for living things. Anderson said, To have life, you need energy, carbon, water, and nutrients, and a volcanic system provides all of those. NASA InSight lander may have already recorded activity linked to this site. Using a seismometer, it has measured hundreds of mass quakes or vibrations in the Martian surface, but only two of these have been localized and both came from Cerberus Fossae. Suzanne Smrika from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has said, It is certainly plausible that the tectonic activity is related to volcanic activity. He also said, Understanding the present-day activity on Mars is indeed a mystery and key to investigating its evolution and habitability. Questions still remain, however. Lu Pan a planetary scientist from the University of Copenhagen in Denmark, isn't so sure about the team's dating method. Pan said, If you want to date a very recent surface, you rely on the population of small impact craters, and we have yet to build this large database of small impact craters. Even in a conservative scenario, however, David Horvath of the University of Arizona, the paper's lead author, said the eruption would have been only a million years ago. That alone would breathe new life into our understanding of Mars. 
He also said, it definitely leaves open the possibility that, deep in the surface, it may be active today. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.